What is up guys, my name is Hafo, and this is the third time I've done this tutorial because people keep walking in on me and it's annoying. So, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I haven't done a tutorial in a while and today's tutorial is on Radial Blair. This was highly requested, I don't really know why because I thought it was quite a common, well it is definitely a commonly used effect and one that I wouldn't really use myself personally because I just think, one, it's overused and I don't really like it that much, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, it was requested. Um, to my surprise... Well, to my surprise, did I just make up a word? Anyway, I was surprised, put it that way. And yeah, so here we go. Uh, all it is is just... It's like a transition, or you can use it like between syncing and whatever you want to do. I've seen it used in so many different places. And I'm just going to show you the transition way. Or, yeah, I'll just... And basically what you do is it just fades. It just it's like a blare as you can see. That blares like round the god. Blares round the it's like blares round the the clip. And then as you go along the timeline it just gets less and less and less until obviously you get to the clip and then you could sync the shot. So uh all we're gonna do is just go on I'm just gonna delete this one. Uh, like this. Then we're gonna go to effect, blare and sharpen. And radial blare and as you can see it comes upon the screen now uh, I was basically asked what my settings were because everyone has different settings some I don't like to be honest I think some people have them too too blurry but I set mine to 8 put it that way I put mine on 8 because I think that's a bit less and i cl obviously going to keyframe that and then we're going to go forward about 50 frames and then just set it to 0 and I know lots of you'll be thinking, well, what was the point in that? Uh, but as I said, lots of people wanted to know because I don't know. They just wanted to know my settings and how I would use them. Uh, also, you could go on where it says radial blur. At the bottom it says type. It says spin. There's another option called zoom. If you click that, you can kind of you get this kind of effect where it obviously zooms from the center of the screen and it kind of blurs like everything going outward from the center. So as as you you could also use that if you wanted, um, which I think actually not that bad. I'd rather use that. Well, I don't know. It's quite nice. You could use that. Um, just two different things. Um, and as I say, I'm sorry it was a short tutorial. Basically, I have been away and haven't been doing them for a couple of weeks. So I'm going to try and get back into them now. And I'd like to say also I've made a gaming channel, which I'll link in the description and. Uh, there I'll just be uploading random game videos. It's not going to be the usual montages. Well, I might do the odd montage or whatever, but I'm talking like, oh, I don't know, just playthroughs of stuff. Just general um, me doing commentaries and stuff. So yeah, if you're interested in that, just click the link in the description. It's called Halfo Games, very creative by me. And uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to have to say. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry it was short and some of you will be like, oh... Well, the, everyone uses this effect. Why are you telling us this? Well, I was asked my settings. And, uh, yes, so that'll be it. So I'll see you later. And, uh, God, Spotify. And I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.